Daniel Dubois weighed in just over 244 pounds and Joe Joyce weighed in a couple ounces shy of 259 pounds. Joyce is 11 pounds lighter than he was for his last fight. A little bit heavier than he was against Brian Jennings, lighter than he was against Ustinov and Stavern. So this is actually a fairly light weight for Joe Joyce. He, he was lighter in his first few professional fights, but this is the lightest he's been since, yeah, the Brian Jennings fight was a couple of fights ago. So this is a pretty good weight for Joe Joyce, relatively light for him, but he is a very, very big man, 6'6", uh, six, six, and naturally solid. He's not a guy that pumps loads of weights to try and bulk up like AJ. This is a guy who's just naturally big and solid. You can tell by the shape of his muscles. There's a, uh, you know, more natural muscle mass rather than pumped up with weights and protein shakes. Now, Daniel Dubois at 244, he's been piling on weight since he turned pro because he's a young man. He's going to grow naturally. Turned pro at 231. He's now 244, which is the exact same weight he was for his last fight. And you can see his weight has increased steadily. So since 2017, he's put on 13 pounds, which, you know, yeah, you can do that at that kind of age when you're an athlete still growing into his frame. Now, I don't really think the weights of either of these guys tell us much. They both looked in good shape. Daniel Dubois has put on some body fat since he turned pro. He, he was more lean very early on in his career and he's not you know, fat by any means, but you can definitely see that his body is a bit softer now, Daniel, than it was when he initially turned pro. He's also gained some muscle too, but it's, it's definitely not 13 pounds of pure muscle that he's gained. There is some fat there as well. Uh, Joe Joyce, as I say, good weight for him. I think that at least for a few rounds, he should do a little scouting report, little scouting mission, move about the ring, see what Daniel has. Obviously, you're going to have to play it by ear because if Daniel starts getting comfortable coming at you, then you might have to switch up the tactics. But I just don't like the idea of Joe Joyce going straight forward, full steam ahead from the opening bell against Daniel Dubois. I mean, it could work, but it just seems like a very risky strategy, very high risk. And I know boxing is risky in general, but it's a thinking man's sport. And walking straight in when, you, you, when you're so upright like Joe Joyce is, when you're so hittable, I just, yeah, <laughs> that just seems like an unnecessarily risky strategy, especially early in the fight. So I think needs to be a bit circumspect early on, use his legs, maybe try to frustrate Dan a bit, see if that works. If that doesn't work, then hey, by all means, go to plan B, you know, go back to what he knows, go back to what he did in the Olympic final against Tony Yoker and just try and swarm all over Daniel Dubois, break him down, wear him out. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about the weights of these two men. I did watch uh, David Hay and Ben Davison reacting to this weigh-in. And David Hay was surprised at the height of these two guys. He thought that Joe Joyce was significantly taller than Dubois. Well, I don't know if Dubois has got trainers on here, but I've seen them face to face before. And Joyce looked, you know, more, he looked like his, uh, the, the height difference was more than this the previous time I saw him. So maybe someone had something in their shoes or they were wearing thick soles those previous times. Maybe, you know, Joyce did to make himself look way taller. Or maybe Dubois is doing that right now. I guess we'll find out when they get in the ring. But yeah, my impression as well, like David Hay, is that Joyce was significantly taller. Here, he looks a shade taller, even if you discount the hair. He does look a shade taller, but there doesn't appear to be as much of a height difference as I, I thought there was. But again, when they get in the ring, we'll find out. Maybe Joyce is barefoot here and Dubois got trainers on. Who knows? Uh, but 
Joyce, you know, you look at his body, he doesn't look any more bulky than Daniel Dubois. So where is the extra weight? And if anything, Joyce looks more uh, lean than Daniel Dubois in terms of less body fat. That's the way he looks. So where is the extra weight? Heavy muscles and you know, heavy bones. Uh, I, I think, I suspect, maybe I'm wrong, that when they get in the ring, Joyce will look significantly taller than Dubois. You know, he will look that extra, whatever it is, two inches. Dubois was supposed to be, I think, six, five and a, a six, four and a half, something like that. Although he might grow half an inch, you know, over the past few years. It's possible, three years, three, four years. Could have grown half an inch. Um, do, uh, uh, Joe Joyce, excuse me, is supposed to be six, six, maybe a bit taller than that. So I don't know. We'll see when they get in the ring. Maybe there are there, there very little difference between the two of them. Maybe there's an inch, half an inch. In reality, we'll find out on fight night. But I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think these are good weights for both men? Do you think this changes anything? Is this what you expected? Did you want one guy to come in significantly heavier or significantly lighter than they actually have? Or are you happy with where they're at? Let me know, people.